This December the 7th, we will be celebrating our 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. 75th. It doesn't seem like it, but it's true. This will probably be the last big celebration. Most of us will probably be gone. Everywhere you go, everybody's treating you like you're a hero. And I, I realize it's because we're the few that's left. I think Pearl Harbor survivors are dwindling numbers. And, and for to get recognition, it's unbelievable, really. You know, we used to have meetings monthly, and there would be about 46 guys there. And at the beginning of this year, we could have meetings because there wasn't anybody that show up. In fact, the whole Pearl Harbor Survivor Association nationwide folded up on January the 1st of this year. I don't know whether there'll be another anniversary or not after this. There won't be many of us left. I kind of feel this is a last gasp for Pearl Harbor. It won't be long that there won't be any Pearl Harbor survivors to talk about it. We lose history. We lose information. What happens? Here's World War II. There's nothing like hearing things from a person who was there. That is better than any book you can read, better than anybody can tell you. When we have these celebrations, basically, it's two parts. First of all, it's a Remembrance Day, and it's also a day that we should never forget what has happened and what a war can create. Try to get keep it going and keep these younger generations to know about it, that that might happen to them someday and they'd have to do the same thing. I gotta get tears even when I think about it because there were a lot of them that didn't make it. I think as a whole, us military, we're satisfied that we're alive, you know, still enjoying life. A age is caught up with us. We had our show, and whether we wanted it or not, and uh, it'll never happen again, we hope. Well, I remember the, the song. You remember the Pearl Harbor? It says, remember Pearl Harbor as we go to meet the foe. Just remember Pearl Harbor as we did the Alamo. Just remember how they died for liberty. Just remember Pearl Harbor and go on to victory. USS Enterprise had proven her steel at the Battle of Midway. But the Big E is about to face her greatest challenge yet, invasion at a place called Guadalcanal. 